Golgotha. Exactly where was Jesus crucified? An hypothesis. Hypothesis. Roman soldiers crucified Jesus near Jerusalem atop the Mount of Olives about 2,000 cubits from the eastern entrance of Solomon's Temple at an annual head tax collection site called Golgotha. If this hypothesis proves true, then Jesus was not crucified at Gordon's Calvary, a popular pilgrimage site in Jerusalem that earns millions for commercial tour guides and taxes for the Israeli government. Some five lines of evidence seem to support this hypothesis. 1. The early Messianic Jews believed that the crucifixion of Jesus occurred outside of the city and east of the temple. The bodies of those animals, whose blood is brought into the holy places, by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin, are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate, in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. While the temple still stood, the exterior of the camp meant out the eastern gate upon the Mount of Olives. Outside means to the east of Jerusalem. All the walls there were high, save only the eastern wall, because the priest, that stands on the top of the Mount of Olives, should be able to look directly into the entrance of the sanctuary when the blood is sprinkled. 2. A Roman soldier was able to see, from the Mount of Olives, across the Kedron Valley, into the temple complex. The ninth hour, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. In those years there was a two-tiered bridge connecting the eastern gates near the temple across the Kedron with a road leading to the top of the Mount of Olives. The costs of the building of the bridge were defrayed by the high priests themselves. 3. Similarly, the Roman soldiers saw rocks split and tombs opened, resulting from an earthquake. The earth shook, and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened. When the centurion and those who were with him saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe. Now, photographs of the Mount of Olives taken in the 19th century show clearly split rock and opened tombs. 4. Golgotha was the site of the annual head tax collection located atop the Mount of Olives, hence its name, Place of the Head. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the Place of a Skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. In the Hebrew Torah, a census was called a head, and the method of counting heads or skulls was called Golgotha, including the collection of taxes. Take a census, head, of all the congregation of the people of Israel, by clans, by fathers' houses, according to the number of names, every male, head by head, Golgotha. The silver from those of the congregation who were recorded was a Bekar head, Golgotha, that is, 
half a shekel, by the shekel of the sanctuary, for everyone who was listed in the records, from twenty years old and upward. The summit of the Mount of Olives was also called the head of the mount. David went up the ascent of the Mount of Olives. David was coming to the summit, head, where God was worshipped. 5. When Jesus shall return into the world, he will stand upon the Mount of Olives, where the nation will recognize him as the one whom they had had crucified. Then the Lord will go out. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, that lies before Jerusalem on the east. The inhabitants of Jerusalem, when they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn. 